Hello, it's Foreign News O'Clock on All News Nigeria. I am Okoyemi Olubemi. Here are the headlines for today. UK government blocks gender reform bill. Italy's most wanted mafia boss arrested in Sicily. Now the news in details. The UK government has blocked Scotland's gender reform bill in unprecedented intervention, which Nicola Sturgeon described as a full frontal attack on the Scottish Parliament. Um, an outrage. Um, you refer to established procedures, of course, in respect of uh, Section 35 of the Scotland Act, a procedure that has not been used in almost a quarter of a century of the, uh, the existence of the Scottish Parliament. Um, in my view, uh, there are no grounds to challenge this legislation. It is within the competence of the Scottish Parliament. It doesn't affect the operation of the Equality Act. And it was passed by an overwhelming majority of the Scottish Parliament after very lengthy and very intense scrutiny by MSPs of all parties represented in the Parliament. Downing Street has the power to stop legislation from Hollywood receiving royal assent, the final stage of any new bill, if it believes it will have an adverse impact on UK-wide law. Scotland Secretary Alistair Jack has confirmed that he will lay a Section 35 order at Westminster on Tuesday to prevent the legislation being sent to the King for royal assent. In the 25 years since devolution, no British government has taken this step until now. The gender recognition reform in Scotland was passed by a majority of MSPs last month which was hailed as a historic day for equality. The new legislation will lower the age people can apply to change their gender to 16, remove the need for a medical diagnosis of gender dysphoria for a gender recognition certificate, and reduce the time an applicant needs to live in an acquired gender. But while the bill has been welcomed by equality campaigners, UK ministers fear it may lead to gender tourism and that people who change gender in Scotland would have a different legal gender when they're in the rest of the UK. Critics of the legislation are also concerned that organizations offering single-sex spaces would have to adopt different policies. Prime Minister Rishi Sunak has previously said it was completely reasonable for the UK government to consider blocking the reforms. At the weekend, Labour leader Sakir Stammer voiced his concerns with the legislation, saying 16 was too young for such a decision to be made. The bill was backed by the Scottish Labour Party with the expectation of two MSPs who resigned as their front bench positions to vote against it. In other news, Italy's most wanted mafia boss, Matteo Messina De Naro, has been arrested in Sicily after 30 years on the run. Messina De Naro was reportedly detained in a private clinic in Sicily's capital, Palamo, where he was receiving treatment for cancer. He is alleged to be a boss of the notorious Cosa Nostra Mafia, and he was tried and sentenced to life in jail in absentia in 2002 over numerous murders. More than 100 members of the armed forces were involved in his arrest. Italian media reported that Messina De Naro was captured just before 10 and taken to a secret location by the Carabinieri. He was reportedly visiting the clinic under a fake name for a course of chemotherapy. A video circulated by Italian media appears to show people standing in the street and applauding the Italian police as Messina De Naro is led away. Bravissimi, bravi, bravi. These are some murders he was convicted over. In 1992, killing of anti-mafia prosecutors Giovanni Falcon and Paola Bossolino. The Delhi 1993 bomb attacks in Milan, Florence and Rome. The kidnapping, torture and killing of the 11-year-old son of a mafioso turned state witness. Messina De Naro once boasted he could fill a cemetery with his victims. The mafia boss also oversaw racketeering, illegal waste dumping, money laundering, and drug trafficking for the powerful Cosa Nostra organized crime syndicate. 
It was reportedly the protege of Totorina, head of the Colion clan who was arrested in 1993 after 23 years on the run. Although Messina de Nero had been a fugitive since 1993, it was thought to have still been issuing orders to his subordinates from various secret locations. Over the decades, Italian investigators often came close to catching Messina de Nero by monitoring those closest to him. This resulted in the arrest of his sister, Patricia, and several other of his associates in 2013. Police also seized valuable businesses linked to Messina de Nero, leaving him increasingly isolated. However, few photos of Messina de Nero existed, and the police had to rely on digital composites to reconstruct his appearance in the decades after he went on the run. A recording of his voice was not released until 2021. In September 2021, a Formula One fan from Liverpool was arrested at gunpoint in a restaurant in the Netherlands after being mistaken for Messina de Nero. Italians were glued to their screens on Monday morning when news of the arrest of the Mafia boss broke out. For years, Messina de Nero had been a symbol of the state's inability to reach the upper echelons of the organized crime syndicate. His arrest will be an unexpected sign of hope that the Mafia can be eradicated in the southern regions of the country, where the state is perceived as largely absent and ineffective. At a press conference on Monday afternoon, the Carabini appeared to deny that they had received a tip-off on the whereabouts of Messina de Nero and emphasized the hard work of investigators who tracked the Mafia boss down in a painstaking and extremely delicate operation. The authorities said Messina de Nero did not attempt to run when he realized the operation was taking place and that he admitted to being the man the Caribbean was searching for as soon as they approached him. And that's it on the news. To keep up with All News Nigeria, kindly follow us on all social media platforms displayed on the screen. Stay tuned on our channel for more details. I am Okoyemi Ulubini. Have a lovely evening.